Egypt's president has met with senior judges outraged over Morsi's decree that granted him unprecedented powers. At the meeting, Morsi maintained he acted within his rights, but he did agree that only decisions related to sovereign matters would have no judicial review. This comes as the Muslim Brotherhood cancel a demonstration planned for Tuesday to avoid further violence. For more on this, we go to journalist Bell True, who joins us live from Cairo. Thank you very much for being with us. Now, how do you think President Morsi has handled the crisis so far? President Morsi, I mean, what the opposition figures are saying is he hasn't dealt with it very well. I mean, today he came out and he said that he stood by his decision, this very contentious constitutional declaration, and it only affected his sovereign decisions. What this actually means in practice, we have yet to know. The judiciary, uh, the judiciary body that he met with this evening um, have yet to issue a statement on their opinion of, of, of his um, statement this evening. So we have to see how that goes. But basically, he's sticking by this very contentious declaration. And as you can probably see behind me, there's still hundreds of people on Tahrir, uh, opposition forces that will refuse to leave the square until he backs down on this contentious document. Tomorrow, we're going to see uh, um, uh, several thousand people in the streets. They're hoping for a million man march against his declaration. So really, I mean, apart from saying that um, he isn't affecting the judicial authority, which is very hard to prove as he has actually reigned in the power of the judiciary and promising that he won't use it in a, in a negative, his newfound powers in a negative way, Morsi hasn't actually um, offered anything to the opposition forces um, in terms of reassuring them that he's not acting in the way of a dictator. Well, the protests are not showing any sign of dying down at this point. What have you been seeing so far? Well, so far, as you can see behind me, we've got a sit-in that's been going on now um, for two days and we'll keep going until he actually, um, they said, until he backs down from this decision. We've seen um, protests across the country and actually, as you probably, as you mentioned before, with the deaths of um, protesters, including a member of the Muslim Brotherhood, we've seen clashes between pro and anti-Muslim Brotherhood supporters um, in various different governorates. Tomorrow, we're going to see a historic, um, amount of, people are hoping it'll be a historic uh, gathering on Tahrir Square against this constitutional declaration. And of course, we've seen um, upheaval within the journalist syndicates who uh, wanted to call for a strike um, against it, in addition to the judiciary, who did actually call a partial strike. And although Morsi is claiming to have actually come to a compromise with them, we've yet to see that um, actually come into, in, in, you know, in, in, we've actually yet to see that be resolved. So really, we're still seeing massive dissent across the country with no sign of this abating. All right. Appreciate your thoughts on the subject. Bell True, Cairo-based journalist, thank you for being with us. Now, Eric Dreitzer, geopolitical analyst for StopImperialism.com, says the latest agreement between the president with the judiciary cannot be seen as a concession. And this is mainly to placate the people who are angry and are in the streets. I think it's important to remember that the Muslim Brotherhood, though they were able to win the elections uh, last year, they don't actually have as broad based of a support as they would like to pretend. There are many elements within Egypt who are very much dissatisfied with the Muslim Brotherhood, who would like to see changes within the political structure of the country. Uh, this has to do both internally with the political situation, but also with the diplomatic and the geopolitical situation. Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood are consolidating this control as a way of maintaining political power in the face of certain defeat. When the people of Egypt realize that they've been swindled into five billion dollar uh, strings attached loans from the IMF, and this is under the auspices of the Muslim Brotherhood, well, the Muslim Brotherhood will need some political control to be able to maintain that control with these sweeping powers.